gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all From ages. The top, let's go. Today, we're gonna learn how to multiply using the array strategy. Yeah. Now, I'm not talking about your buddy named Ray or your Theo named Ray. I'm talking about the array strategy. Now, you're probably asking yourself, what the heck is an array? What does that mean? An array is just a group of objects that are lined up in rows and columns, nice and neat. But the first thing you need to know is what is a row and what is a column? So a row is just something that goes, I'm going to put an R here for row, and it's just something that goes from left to right. So a row goes from left to right. Oh, just like that. A column, I'm going to put a C right here for a column. A column goes up and down. So a row goes from left to right. A column goes up and down. You might have seen a row uh, maybe at a concert, when you go see your favorite singer, uh, maybe at church, or maybe you have to stand in rows at your holiday Christmas program that you have to sing jingle bells, jingle all the way. And you don't really want to do that. And columns go up and down. Maybe you have to go down the column to find your seat. Or maybe you need to go up the column to find your seat. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way. It, a row goes left to right. A column goes up and down. And now we're going to make our array model. Okay. Let's, Let's go. Okay, so... You might have seen the problem 4 times 3, or you might look like this, 4 groups of 3, okay? So we're going to make, we're going to change something here. I tell my students, anytime you see the word of, that means to multiply, okay? So, add the money add the multiply, I call it mathematical. You can put a little X right here, so that tells you you need to multiply when you see the word of. And when you see the word groups, okay, we can make four groups, or we could just turn it into rows. Okay, I'm going to put rows on here, so that way it kind of makes more sense to me now. I see four rows of three, so I'm going to make four rows, and I'm going to put three in each row. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So first, I'm going to draw my four R's so that I know I have four rows. One, two, three, and four. Perfect. Okay. And now I am going to put three in each row. So let's go ahead and put three in each row and let's make, let's start designing our array. That's the best part. So I'm going to put one here. I need to put three in each row. One, two, and three. And you can keep doing that. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Perfect. So I have four rows and I put three in each row. But as you can see, we created some more columns. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my three columns, two more C's for columns. So take a look. I have four rows. Woo. And three columns. Woo. All right, now that we have our array model, I'm going to go ahead and count up all the dots to find out what 3 times 4 is. So let's count them all up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so now I know that the answer is uh, 4 times 3 is 12, or 4 groups of 3 equal 12. However, there is a faster way than having to be able to count them all up and taking forever. You could just do your repeated addition sentence. So as you can see in this column here, remember columns go up and down, I have four. In this column, I have another four. I know that four plus four is eight. And then in this column, I have another four. So I could put my repeated addition sentence, four plus four plus four, and that equals 12, bam. To me, that's just a little bit easier than having to count them all together. So this right here, what we just did, is our repeated addition sentence. Repeated addition. So that's a repeated addition sentence. Boom. Now, what I like to tell my students is to practice our multiplication sentence. So let's go ahead and practice our multiplication sentence. So 
as you can see, we have the number four. And how many fours are there? One, two, three. So four times three equals 12. I also like to do the commutative property just for practice. Commutative property you learned in first grade, you should know, is just the number backwards and it still equals the same thing. So let's go ahead and, or the problem backwards, let's go ahead and flip this problem. Three times four and it's still going to equal 12. Boom, same thing. It just looks a little different. Perfect. And this is our multiplication sentence. And sentence. All right. So there we have it. We now have the answer to three times four and or four groups of three. And we have a repeated addition sentence to check. We have a multiplication sentence and we have our array model. Whew. We're looking great. Looking good. Looking, looking, looking good. All right. Let's try.